Hi guys, how are y'all? Hope y'all are doing well. Um, so this time of year is fantastic. It's not only beautiful as you can see uh, while you walk with me in my neighborhood. Uh, but yeah, look at this. We also get our little fall autumn season in California. You know, we're not too shabby here. And um, yeah, fall and spring are definitely beautiful. So this calls for a selfie. So here I am. So anyhow, so this video is about basically what we were up to and it gets quite busy this time of year but it's also fun and I just threw in this house because it's kind of nice. It's like a Tuscan villa meets the Great Gatsby and uh, quite nice, isn't it? So anyhow, so let's get to our week. So it's the day before Thanksgiving, a Wednesday and there's a lot of goofing around going on while we should be cooking. Okay, let's get back to the heavy whipping cream. So my son and I are baking a tres leches cake for dessert and you can find that recipe in one of my videos. I'll put it in the description and my daughter is making mulled wine. That is also in the description. So the cake will be done tonight and then we're going to have it soak in the three milks. That is the tres leches overnight. I think I've decided what I'm going to make for the appetizers. So I found this nice recipe in the New York Times. Uh, on deviled eggs so I think that would be nice uh, and then I'm going to pair it with um, fish pakora which is like a fish fritters so I use this spice mix um, it's made by the Shan company and I think it comes out of Pakistan yeah it kind of turns out pretty well I like this so yeah tonight the kitchen is going to be a big mess uh, and I'm so glad I'm going to clean up for tomorrow because uh, you know Thanksgiving is not here so that's awesome so we're in a local downtown tonight because I, after all the cooking, thought I must get my cousin something. Uh, she's going to be working so hard uh, hosting us and uh, also it was a birthday so I'm going to look for something over here. And everything is nicely lit up. Um, it's nice to be here and see all the bustle, hustle bustle. So and my daughter and I got an excuse to just uh, shop a little bit as well. <laughs> Lots of sales, I mean, um, even before Black Friday, so maybe a good time to get stuff. And of course, the Christmas tree is up uh, in anticipation of Christmas. Definitely feels very festive. I think I'm going to get her something from L'Occitane because I love this brand. I use one of their shower gels, which is actually a shower oil, so it's very moisturizing as well. So I know this is going to be the gift for her. Okay, our work's done here, mission accomplished, and now we have to head back home. So for dinner, I made this chili-like thing, which I had put in the Instant Pot to slow cook. So this is made from that leftover turkey I had, you know, for my son's party. Uh, so I put it in here uh, and chili is this American dish with beans and things like that and turkey and onions and so on. It's like a soup um, and it's also kind of like a tortilla soup. So I'm going to garnish it with some cilantro, lime, it gives it a nice kick and then also some avocados and some yogurt instead of sour cream and then finally a little bit of um, cr uh, cracked uh, um, tortilla chips on top to give it a little bit of a crunch so I think this will be a nice hearty wholesome dinner okay guys it's cooking day and here I have the fish pakoras going it looks really great so I used some of the masala that I showed you earlier and then I mixed it with some garbanzo flour and also added some cilantro to it because it's a little salty and then just fried it and here are my deviled eggs don't they look good they turned out just like the New York Times recipe the picture that they had on there and ta-da, here is our tres leches cake and we decorated it for the season. So it's decorated with some persimmons and then we used uh, pomegranate seeds to give it that writing there. And we used star anise as you can see. Of course, we're from the spice coast of Kerala in southern India. So there are spices, um, star anise and bay leaf. We're here! <laughs> I decided to wear a salwar kameez 
Why not? Because I'm Desi Kali, after all. So guys, you won't see my cousins in here because my whole YouTube channel is on the down low. But I did tell my cousin about it. But, uh, you know, I don't know where this is going to go. So do like, share and subscribe so that uh, I keep at it. And I would love to share what I'm up to over here. So my cousin had this lovely charcuterie board prepared for us it was so yummy there were all these little foods and then add to that was the appetizers i got sitting around the table and just chatting and catching up and regaling ourselves with all these little tasty bites i feel so lucky and grateful to have my cousin here um, because uh, and i think it was a it's a blessing from my grandma who passed away uh, because we used to spend so many fun times such great times in her house in the summers so i'm very lucky what are the odds of finding your cousin who is you know just half an hour away my son making sure that the bread stuffing is done right and that's his favorite dish so guys, instead of a turkey, my cousin made this Cornish hen and it was so good, so juicy, so tender. Uh, we're not huge fans of turkey and we'd already had our turkey just a couple days ago. So this was a phenomenal substitute. This is just uh, the beginning. So this is dinner number one and I'll show you what's coming up. But before that, let's take a break because we need to rework an appetite. We're in the garage checking out uh, my cousin's uh, Peloton machine and uh, it's really quite nice. It's very sleek looking, uh, but it's a $4,000 and you pay like $40 membership each month. So I don't know, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> um, but my cousin was saying it's really pretty effective. I like the music. I thought the sound system was really good on this. Don't be fooled by her. Uh, this is it. She exactly. is really good. You, she can. This so now we are on to dinner number two because we're South Indians and we don't have closure until we eat something really spicy, flavorful, and be rice based. So here, what you saw first were, were tuna cutlets, and here we have some papad, and then there's biryani. Oh my gosh, I just love biryani. It's one of my top foods in the entire world. So this was our dinner number two. I'm going to say this, it's quite nice being an immigrant. You can just double the fun of any event that happens. And everybody helped and cooked and shared the burden. Uh, and so so it was good. It was a good, it was a truly nice Thanksgiving. And uh, we had so many leftovers and we didn't have to cook for the next two or three days. So that was a win-win as a situation as well. So it's the next day, a Friday uh, after Thanksgiving, and we're on the way to San Francisco. And I wanted to show you this uh, building that has, you know, this aquarium like. Maybe it's a screen uh, with the display uh, of the Monterey Bay Aquarium, I was wondering, which is just two hours away from here and is one of the best aquariums in the world. Here we are climbing up street. San Francisco has many of these hilly streets uh, because it was built on hills. So if you come across uh, names like Telegraph Hill, Knob Hill, Russian Hill, uh, they're all built on hills. So yeah, it's quite a workout. So you probably saw in the title, we're here to see none other than Hasan Minhaj. And uh, we, we like him, uh, you know, political satire is always fun. Hey guys, say hi. So Hasan Minaj is working hard and looking uh, because he was here for Thanksgiving and uh, the, you know I think he's here for a week or so but and he's touring so the line was really long I had no idea there were so many patriotic Indians and Americans who were here to watch him because yes dissent is patriotic so this was nice and uh, the security uh, was pretty tight they had us um, you know put our bags and they they screened all of that and they said that we needed to uh ha carry smaller bags in the future so anyway here we're already done and i'm sorry i couldn't show you any of it because we have to put our phones in this um wallet like thing and uh, i think it locks your phone um so yeah and in goes the case there goes the case so that's all i have of hasan miraj um just us you can just see us walking <laughs> but anyway here's the next line it's already um forming for the next show i thought it was a pretty energetic show and uh, i can't imagine he's going to do this all over again back to back 
and uh, the line was really long again it stretched all the way around the building as you will see here We got ourselves dinner and drink afterwards and this is a hot toddy i don't think i've had this before and my daughter suggested it and she redeemed herself it has whiskey honey lime and spices and it's quite yummy on a nice cold evening so now we are heading back home and uh, don't miss that moon do you see the moon up there in between the lights i thought that was quite nice So before we started our adventure going to this gem show, we decided we needed to get some packed food because there's not much you could get at the exhibition. So we're here at Shenki Bakery, which uses a mix of Western pastry technology and inherited Chinese baking methods. Um, so you get a nice mix of uh, the East and the West here. It's a little junky, sure, but uh, sometimes, you know, foods like these do warm your heart and your soul. So here we are and we got uh, some foods to go. And then I got this taro drink. Uh, that's why the color is, is purple because it's taro. I didn't get the boba, but it was like a milky taro tea. And uh, little did I know that I would not be able to eat or drink any of this for the next six hours because we got so mesmerized with the gem show. So my friend had these free passes to the sh gem show and I'm so glad she shared it with me because this was a very new experience. I'm not really much into jewelry and things like that, but I'm starting to appreciate the history and the beauty of all of this a lot more now, thanks to her. Ooh, my favorite amethyst. I've always liked them. What, what are these mean? stones? Amethyst. No, no, this green one. These are like uh, Malachi jade. This is a... Uh, that's not G. Do I love amethyst? Heart shaped. It was like an international market, like a souk, a bazaar, because there were these uh, pieces from around the world. Uh, so we met vendors from Nepal, Tibet, India, um, where else? Eastern Europe, uh, China. So all pretty intriguing and uh, and a lot of fun. Look at those old corals down there. Lots of silver jewelry, oxidized, polished. Wow. Ooh, and my friend had this premonition that uh, she was going to find something in green. So we paid special attention to beads and uh, stones that were in green. This was my favorite counter of the lot uh, because he had jewelry from India, from all over the country. Uh, there was uh, stuff even from Kerala. So I was really happy to see that. And uh, just look at all this gold. Look at the workmanship. I really wanted to buy all of this. Look at these thin gold bangles. They were $400 each. And then this bracelet, bangle bracelet with the lion's head, so pretty. And then these two, that the back, the two of them, I wish I could have them, but they were $5,000 a piece. My God, I believe they're from Bengal. But I just had to settle for these earrings. So these are known as Frida Kahlo earrings because they were worn by Frida Kahlo. So it's in that style. And, uh, you know, I pretended that I was an intellectual and I had to have meaning in the things I buy, which basically is an excuse for when you can't afford something. But I still quite like those earrings. So it worked out. They're nice. I like it. So guys, back to my favorite counter. Look at this necklace. Isn't it gorgeous? It's all gold and it costs $28,000, which is the price of a lovely car. And uh, I believe this is from Kerala. He said that he got it from Kerala. And I was surprised because it had some kind of Greek, Roman, uh, to my eyes, uh, kind of inscription on it. And I was like, wow, really? What rich history we have. Whew. Here's some more stuff. I've always wanted pearls, but I don't know what to buy. And look at this giant piece of turquoise. Wow, so much great stuff. 
so guys i hope you enjoyed watching all this and then after seven hours or so we went back home and uh there's more happening here because my son had thrown a surprise party birthday party for his friend and there was all this decorations and by the time i got home there was a massive mess all over the place and uh, i had to clean all this rather make them clean all this mess oh, yeah saturday was really really busy so sunday was just all about preparing for the week life is back to normal until it's going to be christmas again so there's still fun times to look forward to and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i will catch you again soon uh do like uh, comment and subscribe and uh come back Bye.